Hi, my name is Lauren Trostan, and I'm coming to you today on a sunny and a little bit windy afternoon here in Nairobi, Kenya, where I serve with the Presbyterian Church of East Africa as the Deputy Director of Mission and Social Responsibility. That's a big title, but basically it means that I have the great privilege of working with the church in all areas of mission and outreach, from the training of pastors and evangelists, to community empowerment projects, to the education of vulnerable children. And in all of those areas, I get to witness the way that the good news of Jesus Christ is transforming people's lives and their entire community. So today I wanna to tell you about two areas of my ministry that are really close to my heart. Um, the first are our women's empowerment projects, which are mainly focused on sustainable agriculture. Um, and I wanna tell you about Esther. Esther is a woman in one of our groups who lost her husband um, almost 20 years ago now and who has really struggled to, to feed herself um, and to take care of her children. Um, Esther only finished the third grade and so she just didn't have very many opportunities um, when it came to supporting herself and her family. Um, and then about three years ago, she joined one of our women's groups at her local Presbyterian church they had been equipped with a greenhouse and a one acre farm where they grow spinach and kale and tomatoes. Um, and since that time, Esther has worked diligently on the farm. Um, she's learned how to grow food. She doesn't worry about what she's gonna eat anymore. And this year she was able to send two of her grandchildren to school and to pay all of their fees. And so her life, um, and also the life of her family has really been transformed by, by the work of that project. The second area that I wanna to talk to you about are our schools for vulnerable girls. Um, I wanna tell you about Jackie. Jackie is a young woman I met five years ago when she was 14 years old. Um, when Jackie found out that her father and her uncles had decided that it was time for her to get married. They had accepted a dowry on her behalf, uh, but with the help of her mom, Jackie was able to, to run away from her home, um, and she ran to her local Presbyterian church, which has been an advocate of women and girls in her area, and she said she wanted to go to school. She wanted to continue her education. Uh, that was, like I said, a few years ago, this year, Jackie is sitting for her national high school exam. Um, she has reconnected with her family. She's been reintegrated into her community. And all of the kids in her hometown now call her the professor because she is the best educated person that they know. Um, and so those schools and those empowerment projects, they are changing people's lives. And they are giving women and girls and their entire families the chance to dream about the future that God intends for them, the chance to know deep in their hearts they are made in God's image and that God intends goodness and fullness and abundance for them. Um, we can always use more support, more partners, more prayer when it comes to the work of the gospel that's happening here in Kenya. Thanks.